Hello everyone. The first thing you need to do is to browse to www.google.com. Once you're on that screen, uh, if you have a Google account or a Gmail account, you automatically have Google Drive, which looks like a little checkerboard. So click on the checkerboard and then move your mouse down to the word Drive. Click on that and it'll open your Google Drive. You'll see the files that you have in your drive. Now, in my drive, I have several uh, file folders that I created. One of them is called the Robert Feline Portfolio, and that's where I saved the different things that I want to put in the portfolio, like pictures, images, or the information about the resume, and writing samples for our Bobcat Robert Feline. You'll have to go back to the Google Drive. From the Google Drive window, Click on the arrow, drop down arrow, and then move the mouse down until you come to the word more, because what we really need to see are Google Sites. We're going to create a Google Site, and it appears in the next box. There it is, Google Sites. Click on the word words Google Sites, and when you do this, it will open up a Google Site for you. Uh, with a basic simple template. Here will be the title of your page and of course the name of your site is where you up in the corner you enter the name of your site which will be your name because when people search for the site with they for your to see your resume and other things you want them to uh, search for your name and then it'll come up. So the first thing you want to do is to type your name and since uh, I'm Robert for the purpose of this exercise, I'm calling myself Robert Feline. So I'll write, type Robert Feline as my name. So click on the page title and type your name there. Well, I'm typing Robert Feline. And I'm going to press the hard return key so that I can put a little subheading under there. And that's really tiny. and I don't like that. So I'm going to highlight it with the mouse. And then I can change the type of font that it is. Instead of normal text, let's call it a heading. That looks better to me. So, you know, it's more of the size it should be. I'm going to stretch out the name and move it to the center. You can assign different themes to your page. I'm going to click on themes first because it would affect all the different parts that you put on your page. And you can see some of the different themes that are available. We had the simple theme to start with. Then there's the Aristotle theme, the diplomat theme. And if you scroll down, you'll see quite a few other themes that are available. I'm just going to go back to the simple theme for the purpose of this example and use that. Now I can also change the image. It just has kind of a gray background there. But you can change the image. You can either upload an image from your computer, but since I've already uploaded some images to my Google Drive, I can just select Google Drive as the source for my image. Now, Google has a lot of free images that you can use, and you can see some of them here, and you can scroll down. If you like some of those images, you could just simply click on it and click Select, and that image would be the background for your header. Since I already have an image in Google Drive, I'm going to just click on Google Drive and go to the folder where I have saved the images. And then I'll scroll down and find the image that I want to, to use, which I think I'd like to use this image that I found on the internet, which is a picture of East Georgia College from the aerial view. So I'll click that image and then simply click the Select button in order to change the image. And voila! the image is changed to that photo. Be sure that any photo that you use that you have permission to use it. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is that you can create different pages. And this is important. This page is your home page, the page that we're looking at with your header on it that has your name and says welcome to my portfolio. But you need to create some other pages for this assignment. So you need to create a resume page so you just click the Add Page button and click, and then type in Resume, and that creates the page. 
And the names of these pages will be up in the top corner, uh, which that'll be a link to the page. All right, I need another page for writing samples. So I'm going to click on Add Page, type Writing Samples, or you might want to just type Singular Writing Sample, and that creates a third page. So I have the Home page, the Resume page, and the Writing Sample page. Later we can actually add content to those pages, and when people want to view them, they click on those links to go to those pages. So if I click on Resume, it takes me to the resume page, which doesn't have anything there except the header that says resume so far, but we can add things. Let's add a resume by typing a text box. This is one way to do it. And then in the text box, you could actually uh, paste the content for your resume. So what I'm going to do is go to my Google Drive and find the file where I have saved a copy of a resume as a Google Doc. And I'm going to click on that to open it. And then I'm going to simply highlight all the, all the words on the resume. Then I'm going to copy what I've highlighted which is the contents of the resume. Then I'm going to go back to the tab for my Robert Feline portfolio. And in that box that I have already opened, I'm simply going to paste the content of the resume. Now, you may notice that some of the, some of the type, the font doesn't seem right to me. Like the word Robert Feline should be bigger and maybe these other headers should be smaller, you know. So, First, I'm going to highlight Robert Feline. I'm going to change that to a title heading. That makes it bigger, and it matches the other titles. But I think really those uh, ought to be a little smaller, so I'm going to call those subheadings. Or I'm going to call them headings instead of title, rather. You can see that on this resume, I don't have accurate information. I just have a placeholder where somebody might put that information. So that's because this is just an example. Okay, the next thing I want to show you how to do is to take a document from your Google Drive, which would be one of your writing samples, and to put it on your writing samples page. So if you start from the home page of your portfolio, click on the writing samples link to take you to the writing samples page. Okay. The next thing you want to do is click on Google Drive so that you can find the document you want to insert on this page. Find it in the folder wherever you have kept it. Click on the document that you want to use and then simply click Insert. The document will then be inserted on your page. People will not be able to see your documents unless you set the permissions to public. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Go back to your Google Drive folder, find the document that you want to make public, click on it, right click on it, click share, then a window will open and you need to click advanced. This opens the sharing settings window. The default setting is private, meaning only you can see it. So click Change to change that, and you want to change it from Off Specific People to On Public on the Web. When you do this, it means that everyone, uh, anyone on the web would be able to see your document. Then click Save, and it'll bring you back to the screen that you were on before. You can simply click the Done button at the bottom of that screen, and the change has been made to your file. Then when people look at your document in your writing sample, they'll be able to see it. Otherwise, they would get a message saying permission denied. Okay, now I'm going back to pages and I'm going to click on the home page and see that's our, our main page and it has the different links to the resume and writing sample pages, but it's not really complete. We need to insert some things in this on this page, right? 
And one of the things we want to put on there is your picture. So I'm going to click on Images. And since I've saved a picture in my Google Drive already, I'll find the folder with that picture. And I'll select the picture that I want to use there. Um, so you should use your own picture <laughs> and not one of uh, the Bobcat. But in this case, since uh, this is Robert Feline's portfolio, I'm going to use a photograph of Robert Feline. And there it is. I've put him in there uh, on the home page, and I can drag the, the uh, handles on that picture and make it slightly bigger and manipulate it in different ways. And you can do the same thing with pictures of yourself. All right, I want to put a, an opening statement, kind of a welcome statement on the page. So I click a, to put a text box. And I'm moving that text box up to the next beside the picture because that's where I want it to appear rather than under the picture. And I'm just going to type a simple welcome message. Now you have you can type whatever kind of welcome message that you want for your um, your opening statement there. Now at the end I put thank you for visiting my portfolio page. It has links to my resume writing sample and yada 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 but you would not put yada yada you would put um, whatever you have put on your page whether it might be a work uh, projects that you've done etc now let's create another text box and put it down at the bottom and for this one I'm just going to put in a favorite quote this is a quote from Maya Angelou uh, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So I can just format that by putting some hard returns in after each section. To, I could click on this icon that looks like an eye to preview it and see what it would look like to others who view my page. Uh, and to, but, but in order to publish it, you have to click on the Publish button. It's going to ask you what you want the web address to be. In this case, for your portfolio, it should simply be your name. So I'm going to type Robert Feline in this case, since this one is for uh, Robert's name. But once you get it where it's what you want it to be, then click Publish, and the page will be published. Now, in order to see what you are, the URL will be, click on the drop-down menu click View Publish Site. And it'll bring it up on a different tab. And you can see at the top what the actual URL is for your particular page. It's at uh, google.com slash view slash your name. So you can highlight that part and save that and then send that URL to anyone else. And when they put the URL in to uh, their browser, it would take them to your home page and when you, they click on your home page, uh, if they click on resume, it'll take them to your resume page and they can look at, the, uh, at your resume. When you click on writing samples, it'll take them to the writing sample page and they can look at your writing samples.